Yes. We're going to have some Lucia today. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's an envelope. So I'm singing Regnava nel silenzio from Lucia di Lamamor by Donatetti. And again, we may or may not go through the whole thing. We'll just sort of okay. see what hits us. And this is kind of new territory for you. Yes, very. Is that right? Yes. Talk about brave, woohoo! And new territory in terms of doing just uh, kind of, the only bel canto I've really done, and I did Giulietta um, in I Capuletti e Montecchi, and that's kind of lovely. The it for bel canto. And so, Ali's 25, and we're sort of sitting here thinking, let's explore repertoire. Let's see what might be out there. See if it fits or not. Yeah, and sometimes things will fit, sometimes they won't, but chances are you're always learning something in that process anyway. Maybe we'll so, find out if it fits today. <laughs> I'm so excited. Either way, it's all good.
mind if we stop there? It's fine. Because she wants to <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Milos. <laughs> okay, so how is, this is the first time you've done this in front of people in I've public. I've done it once in front of people, but I had to rush to learn it in about five days or yeah. something. How's it feeling? Uh, oh, no, but that's the worst question. It's like, how do you think it went? Oh, I was. <laughs> that's the worst thing. It's always like. Uh. No, but how are you feeling? Vocally or in this piece? In this piece. Um. Not uncomfortable per se, but yeah. not not as free as I could be with. But that's still because it's new. Yeah. But I think it's kind of exciting in your voice. Okay. I think it's kind of <laughs> exciting. And I think this is a great thing for you to work on. Mm -hmm. You know, one thing that I, that's, when I, I said this when we started on Saturday, and I just send out a friendly reminder that these are not performances, and that this is a playground, this is a place to experiment. And I think it's those of you who have followed the three days, you've probably had some surprises, like, oh, I didn't know she could do that. We're so quick to judge as audiences. We're so quick to judge. and I include myself 100% in that bad audience member. <laughs> you know, we're listening against recordings. We make a judgment right away. For any singer that's really under 35, <laughs> you have to give them some space to grow. You have to allow them to find their place. Again, we're stacking up language, theater, musicality, history, the human condition, and at 25, you're allowed to like not have it all exactly perfectly together, okay? <laughs> so, but I think that's been fascinating, not only for singers watching, but also for the audience to go, oh my God, the process is huge, right? But I wanna go back to this, because this is still kind of new, and I just wanna play with some vocal things that are happening. Please. First thing is, it's written, Regno vana silencio. And we're very good musicians. We go, Regno vana. Mm. It ha we have to make it come to life. Yep. This always in the left, in, in, in the accompaniment, in the right hand. Mm -hmm. da -dee da -da -da -da. Usually it's some kind of like fate. You're on this track. It's, it's absolutely not dull. It's like life is going tick, 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 tick. Or it could also be this mechanism in your mind that's the first time you've tuned into it. Oh my gosh, does anybody else hear that? I hear that. Oh, it's really pretty. Wow. Yeah. And just a little change here, a little change there. It goes vroom. Thank you, Milos. It's actually... Any conductor would tell you the hardest stuff to conduct around is bel canto. Oh, yeah. So what we want is through the syntax of the Italian, we want to find a natural phrasing mm -hmm. within this framework. Yes. Sometimes you're going to land a little ahead of the note. Sometimes you're going to arc over it. Sometimes you're going to be a little delayed and, and catch up later. Sometimes it's rubato that we refer to. But it's really, for me, it's just feeling the freedom to play with the text. And however it goes. Not my rap. Um, <laughs> but you reach. You could go, da, di, da, but you don't. Da, ba, di, a, da, 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 di, a, ba, ba, ba. Blah. You could go, blah, blah, but you go, blah, ba, ba, ba. What was that? Where did it go? All right. Da, 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 da. Do you, I'm rambling a little bit, no, no. but let's no. play and let's just see if mm -hmm. we can. Squish it up a little bit. Mm -hmm. Okay, now purposefully sing it out of rhythm. Okay. So if it's me. <laughs> exaggerating a little mm -hmm. bit, but I want you to feel that kind of freedom. So you're choosing where it goes, mm -hmm. okay? 
end. Reach for it. Yeah, this is again that turn. It's again. You give birth to it. You land. Okay, one more time. And use the n of yes. Try. Super legato, super. Okay. It was gorgeous. Um, so uh, this is not important. Alta la notte e bruna. And again, give birth. Bruna. Yep. Wow. Did you hear that note? Wonder. It's the madness. Alta. Not to interrupt, I did a master class at my old grade school, St. Anne's, for eighth grade. Did somebody go to St. Anne's? Oh, wow, that freaked me out. I'm like, is, is it Pat Miller? Um, <laughs> and they were putting on Little Mermaid. And so I coached the Ursula and the thing, and it was so much fun. Ursula came in. Oh, she had been practicing in her mirror. You know it. The other, the other ones were very timid and sort of like all this, and she came out and she went, and it was this, and it was that. And it was so funny because the things I talked about with them are the same things I talk about with anybody and think about myself. There was one point she does a flash or something. I was like, so where's your magic thing? And she goes, oh, it's right here. And she picked it up. And I said, okay, what are you going to do with it? She's like, I'm going to throw it. Pew. I said, wait, 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 where did it go? And she went, oh, right. She picked it and she goes, pew. <laughs> That girl has a future. Here's, here's the thing. It's not magic. It's not magic. If you see it, we see it. Mm -hmm. But you have to see it. If you see Ptolemeo, if you see the Fonte, wow, it's pale. Ah, what's that? Oh my gosh. Wait, what, who was that? If you see it, and it's with the utmost 3D clarity, we see it. You have to help us in this. You have to help us see what you're seeing. Mm -hmm. Okay, even if it's silencio. I can hear it. Silencio. Do you hear that? Mm. Nothing else is acceptable. If it's halfway, it doesn't count. It just doesn't count. Okay, it has to be that committed. So one more time, and we're gonna go go through alta la notte bru. Because if you kind of speed up through there, he'll follow you. Yes. Every conductor, most of them will follow you. Alta la notte bru. 
You speed up and then you take the time I'm where back. it counts. Yeah. Dark. Let's do Renyava one mm -hmm. more time. Maybe find this horizontal disc thing here. Every time you have that, it's a reach. You're looking for something. You're searching. You're restless. Did you hear how you those weren't even, the 16th? Mm -hmm. Yep. Fabulous. Brilliant. Because, And it's not that you were trying to make them uneven. You were saying the Italian. She's looking. The titra, I didn't find it. Maybe it's over here. No, it's not there either. Did you see it? Is it up there? Titra, Is it there? Okay, how's that feeling? Good, definitely more legato too. <laughs> Fab, <laughs> shocking. <laughs> Pallido. What does it mean? Uh, pale. Mm. She's talking about the pale moon. So how can we find pale in the voice but still stay connected? Um, just maybe more... I was thinking about when we were working on Mitradi when you were saying that point where she kind of shuts down and she's empty, that mm. kind of emptiness in the sound. Mm -hmm. Lovely. Which has to be supported. Yes, still supported, but but yeah. emptiness, like this pale, because it's it's not it it's not this bright moon. She's looking for something and she can't find it, and she sees just this pale moon, and everything about this section is so. She talks about the pale moon, the ghost, and everything's just very white. It's without ground. It's yeah. without color. It's all of that. It's foggy and misty. Yeah. All of that. You can also quadruple the P. Mm -hmm. And then quintuple, the L. Okay. So, un un pallido, pallido. And then let it dissipate. The limbs are not warmed up. Pallido. And it's still going. Yep. And it kind of goes behind you. Okay? Mm -hmm. But this kind of imagery, the voice will follow. Instead mm -hmm. of thinking, okay, I'm going to stop my vibrato or whatever. You just think about the text and, and let, it, let it have breath in it. Let it do something. Yeah. You're not going to sing the whole aria that way. It's a lovely no. way to paint that word. Mm -hmm. And it's a lovely way to surprise us. Because we think, which is what you do. It's so white. Why is it so white? Why is the color gone from everything? What's happened? Mm -hmm. Question. Question. Should we? Let's do Renyava one yeah. more time. Go down, right? Under. He was fab. Did you guys hear yeah. it? Yeah. All of a sudden, yeah. it, da, 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 poof. And then it kind of. Ugh. Yeah, and it, but it's all about this, this unveiling, this discovery, birth, mm -hmm. all of this. Wow, oh, she's never seen the world this way before. Mm -hmm. So you're not playing madness. No, not yet. You know, it's all this. <laughs> like, you know, it's like, look, wow. And then all of a sudden, we see Lucia as somebody who sees the world in a way. We wish we could, or we're terrified of, 
but bring us into that world by seeing it. Because you went, colpi alla fonte, colpi alla fonte, pallido. Wow, it's so beautiful. Or it's frightening. Could be either. Okay? Alta la notte. Again, go through that phrase. Alta la notte. Almost. Okay. Did you hear what happened on that Luna when you reached for it? Did you guys hear that? We like that. I like that. I love it. Yeah, that's, and that's violin playing too. I was thinking of it more as the character searching rather mm -hmm. than actually from a technical standpoint, which... And what happened? It's more freeing that way when I'm not... I'm just thinking about what the character is doing in the words and everything, instead of thinking of it as a vocal, technical mm. thing that I have to do. Yeah, there's a point to do that. You go in the classroom, yeah. Yeah. okay, soft palate, yeah. and then that serves, gives you the ability to freely go, I love that you found that. Then here we go. Bel canto, every note is important, every note is <laughs> But chromatics and triplets, unless it's already in 12-8 and then they go into duple. <gasps> it's like, I need a moment that's so exciting, <laughs> right? When you get to go against the tempo. <gasps> Everything is in that. Um, Cuando sommeso gemito. Can you just play that, the downbeat of gemito? How rich is that? How rich is that? Very. What does gemito mean? Moan. Yeah. That's what it sounds like. <laughs> and then give birth on the A natural. So it's it it's dark, it's haunting, it's light. It's beautiful. Or light. I don't understand it. I don't understand what's happening. Dark. Or it's fascinating, light. You have to make a choice. Mm -hmm. You get to make a choice every time you sing it, mm -hmm. but it has to be connected. Okay, so um, let's go. Cuando sommesso. And sommesso. It's beautiful. Sommesso. Cuando sommesso. Ask. Cuando. Okay, cuando. Cuando sommesso. Okay. Fra, let's let's do the gemito again one more time because what you gave me it's not bad, but you get gemito pretty okay. even. Okay. And I didn't want to gemito give birth. Mm -hmm. I don't know. It's not maybe not the right way to say that, but that's the image that's coming today. <laughs> give light. Let there be light on that one. Quite <laughs> <laughs> 
Sì. What? L'ombra mostrare, sì. L'ombra mostrare, sì. Ah, awesome, awesome, awesome. It's, it sounds beautiful. Mm-hmm. It's pretty thrilling up there. Oh, good. That's pretty thrilling. Wow. So, again, ecco su quel margine. L'ombra mostrarsi. L'ombra mostrarsi. L'ombra. L'ombra mostrarsi. What's happening? You know, talking about discovery. I'm ex- excited, but I'm scared. And, but yeah. And attracted. And, wow. What's that? Oh, what, what, this? Yeah. What is it? Exactly. <laughs> and then you go, l'ombra mostrarsi. Dam, di dam. Oh, I hate that. Yeah. No, but it's why people go bel canto is not interesting because we sing it, we take it for granted. Mm-hmm. Who cares? Ombra uh, mostrarsi. Heartbeat. I mean, you can do anything with it, but you. You have to sing it for a reason. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, go home. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know, really, ev- every note. Mm-hmm. Do you know any composers? You mean? Like, have you ever worked with a composer or? I'm trying to think. I mean, of musical theater stuff when I was really young. OK, well, that's, but, but in the sense where you could say, why did you put a forte there? Or you miss a note or something, and they're like, ah, 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 ah. Sorry, that's a 16th. It's a dotted 16th. Because they sit there, and they go, Phew. now, he was just kind of going, because, but we owe that respect to sit here and breathe life into this. There's a reason. And if we don't respect it or think much of it, because it's not interesting, all the other work you've just done goes, eh. If you don't care about every note you're singing, don't you dare expect us to care. If you don't care, what's going to make us bother? I know you care, I'm not saying that. But it's like this sense of intention. Every yes. note, every yes. word, nothing else is acceptable. Okay. Do you want to try it one more time? Do you want to yes. go? I'd love to hear. The thing on that gesture, you can't do something on every note. Then it gets indulgent. Uh, style. I don't want that. Um, <laughs> but for me, the, the B flat into the A natural is the most important okay. thing. But decide for you what's most important and then do it. Quando sommesso. Quando How's that feel? Good, it's up at the, 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 oh, funkiness, yeah, no, the funkiness earlier. I don't care about that. But like the, intensity, the intensity, and when you have that kind of, of, of um, absolute vision, absolute horror, attraction, all of that right there, and you see it, the vocal line goes The text goes Everything becomes congruent. Mm -hmm. Everything's telling the same story. It's not just the voice and your eyes are this, and it's not just the voice and the words are nebulous. Yes. Everything's on the same page, and it's easier. Mm -hmm. Because you've got all your forces flying in the same pattern. Does this make sense? Yes, it does. The process of how you're finding and all that. Now, all the phrasing that we just did, as you go back and practice, do the opposite next time. And then do the inversion. And then do the mm -hmm version. Mix it up. Find as many different angles and ways to do this that you can so that you start having choices. But it's never. Never. 
There's freedom. Unless that's a really deliberate choice. That could be a choice, but it has to be for a reason. It's absolutely, whatever it is. Mm -hmm. Make sense? Yes. This is exciting. I think you should keep experimenting at this and see oh. where it goes. Yeah. Yeah? Thank, Thank you. you. You're so good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. When I was um, at the Academy of Vocal Arts um, a lifetime ago, um, it's so funny, we would get so frustrated with the maestro, Maestro Makatsouris, who goes back to the old school. He worked with Tulio Serafin, and he's really, as some people will call the golden age, singing. And uh, oh my gosh, hours, hours on one page of recitative. I kid you not, hours. And I sometimes get frustrated that I, I like, oh, I didn't get past the second page or the first page in some cases. But I think it's that kind of detail work. That's what it takes to build an aria, to build a role, to build all this. It's detail, detail, detail. And then singers, you have, we're the singers today. Yeah, some, a lot of them I think are in classes. Yeah, I'm so glad you're here. Um, that kind of detail work gives you more options when you're up here. One thing I said today to the singers, I got this advice from maestro Christopher Larkin, we were doing Little Women in Houston, and he said, make sure when you arrive the first day of rehearsal that you know the score better than the conductor. <laughs> All the singers are like, mm. <laughs> what did she say? <laughs> no, think, just put that as a bar for yourself. Know the score better than the conductor. And that's not to say, maestro, that's not the way I do it. But you can actually say, well, I know in the, on the second beat there's an accent, so I, I, I'm just trying to set it up. What do you think about that? Not to be belligerent, but that gives you power. Think, if you know the score that well, how much power you have as a musician. That's the bar.